Hamilton against Bottas on the front row. It's lights out and away we go. They weren't held for long at the start. Hamilton gets away well. Bottas is trying to challenge him though. And Ricardo on the outside of Max Verstappen who takes that inside line once again and defends the place well for the Renault. Hamilton from Bottas still. Albon now pulling out alongside Esteban Ocon after dropping a place off the line. Ricardo's already having a look. Ocon is right behind his teammate as up ready on they go. Perfect then because they didn't squabble. They did not squabble, Verstappen and Ricardo then right in the sweet spot. Verstappen is already putting Valtteri Bottas under huge pressure. Here comes Danny Ricardo on the inside as well. Hamilton leads into the chicane from Bottas and then Verstappen and Ricardo side by side. Then comes Esteban Ocon and Ricardo goes off the track. Ocon ahead of Albon and then the racing point of uh, Sir Lance Stroll who's made up places at the start here ahead of his teammate Sergio Perez. And it's a very good start indeed for Charles Leclerc who's up to ninth. As through the source we go there, that's a great place if you've got a camera in your hand to get some amazing shots. And now Sergio Perez is going to be a bit under pressure with Pierre Gasly as they go side by side through a Rouge. And Pierre Gasly, what a move that was on Sergio Perez. It was like Weber and Alonso, but the other side of the track this time around. As now to the Comchicane we go, Ricardo just ahead of his teammate. Perez is fighting Gasly back, Norris is hanging back from the pair. Norris has to slam on the brakes and locks up in the process. That is a big off and there's two cars involved there, one of which is an Alfa Tower and this is a definite safety car. I think that's Antonio Giovinazzi, I can see climbing out of the car and that's George Russell uh, too and it, it's, it's wonderful to see both drivers climbing out of the cockpit. Now we're on board with Giovinazzi Wall. And that, you can see George Russell trying to get out of the way but... I don't think he uh, hit Giovinazzi, I think no, he, he didn't. Al I think already... he was already going off. He already... Had... He already had, was he already losing a wheel? That front left tire, that front left wheel. Let's let's see now. Oh yes, oh, front right. Yeah, right. First, so the, hit. The, it hit the wheel. So stacking the Mercedes, they can get away with that, but it might hurt Bottas. Might well, well hurt Bottas. 2.5 seconds for Hamilton. How long? Yeah, what? 3.5 seconds for oh, Valtteri Bottas. Oh, very tight indeed. Bottas does stay ahead of Max Verstappen. They're double stacking at Renault as well. So Bottas compromised. It could also hamper Esteban Ocon here as well, which might be good news for Alex Albon, who was stuck behind Esteban Ocon. Ricardo stops for 2.9 seconds, only a tenth of a second longer. But Ocon has lost out there to Alex Albon as the safety car peels away and the light goes green. Hamilton is away from Bottas. Verstappen, though, really fancies his chances. Now we can go racing again. Pierre Gasly in fourth, didn't pit. Sergio Perez on the soft tyre, didn't pit. And into the source we go. Uh, behind the racing point, the two Renaults of uh, Ricardo and... Uh, uh, then uh, Alex Albon and Esteban Ocon, so the Red Bull in between uh, the two Renaults there as we head down the hill and Sergio Perez very much keeping on Pierre Gasly's tail here on that soft compound tyre, he might make a move here on the Alpha Tauri, Hamilton is away once again and off into the distance, Bottas seems to have survived the threat from uh, Max Verstappen, uh, Pierre Gasly is looking to defend against Sergio Perez, no way through for the racing point. This is how Kimi Raikkonen uh, managed to put his Alfa Romeo ahead of the Ferrari of his uh, friend and former teammate Sebastian Vettel. Neat move by Kimi. Sebastian Vettel fought that for as long as he could and then realised that, well, the Alfa was there occupying a place on the track where he'd like to be. On board with Daniel Ricciardo though, has got DRS and he's got Sergio Perez in his sights and Daniel Ricciardo puts his Renault up into fifth place. I'd rather get the feeling that Racing Point, whatever pain Perez is going to go through now, they are hoping there's going to be a bigger gain come the end of this race when he'll have much fresher tyres. But the pain might be continuing for him because here comes Alex Albon. He's going to have to go the long way round at the bus stop. Chicane breaks that much later uh, than Perez has the grip to do so. And a nice move from Alex Albon to get rid of the Racing Point and put that Red Bull up now into sixth place. Through a Rouge and up Radion. So the Kimmel straight where the DRS will open for Daniel Ricciardo to give him eight and a half kilometres of extra pace and he probably doesn't even need that because look how he's breezing past Pierre Gasly who hasn't stopped in this race so far and has just conceded fourth place to Daniel Ricciardo who's back where he started. As the cars come through a rouge at lightning pace and the cameraman managed to keep up with him as well and you get past the Alpha Tauri which has been 
pretty good in a straight line as well. You need a bit of DRS, don't you? And is that DRS going to be enough? Sergio Perez thinks it will be, and it was. And he judged that to absolute perfection. And that's how Pierre Gasly got past Sergio Perez, stopping that little bit later. Could they have brought him in? Had they had any chance to bring him in uh, during the safety car period? Oh, there's Here we go, it's Esteban Ocon, he's going to try and make the move, Esteban it. Ocon does get past uh, Alex Albon and now Albon is going to be put under pressure by Lando Norris as well, so Ocon moves up into fifth place for Renault, fourth and fifth uh, for Renault, Hamilton picks up another win, it's the Belgian Grand Prix for Lewis Hamilton in 2020 to extend his championship lead even further. Valtteri Bottas comes home to make it a Mercedes 1-2. It's third place for Max Verstappen, his sixth podium finish in a row. As rounding the final corner, Esteban Ocon claims fifth place. Alex Albon just holds on to beat the McLaren of Lando Norris, Pierre Gasly, fine performance, comes home in eighth place ahead of Lance Stroll and Sergio Perez. The final two places in the points going to Racing Point. Since 2014, it's been Mercedes on top and uh, no change to that this afternoon. The champagne sprays once again for the Silver Arrows who continue with that golden touch, Lewis Hamilton stretches his lead at the top of the championship and wins for a fourth time the Belgian Grand Prix.